गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स इंपॉर्टेंट सर्कुलर सर्कुलर नंबर 172 डेटेड 6 जुलाई 2022 एंड फोर इंपॉर्टेंट क्लेरिफिकेशन इज बीइंग गिवन द फर्स्ट वन रिफंड ऑफ आईटीसी व्हिच इज अवेल्ड बाय द रिसिपिएंट अंडर डीम्ड एक्सपोर्ट is subject to section 17 of cgst act and deemed export transactions are when supply to eou supply against epcg license supply against advance authorization these are specific transaction under section 147 of cgst act termed as deemed export so here either supplier can claim the refund or recipient can also claim the refund either or either supplier or recipient so when recipient is claiming refund of the itc in deemed export transaction whether such itc is subject to section 17 this circular has clarified now such itc in the hands of recipient will not be will not be subject to chapter 5 of cgst act so no reversal is required and while calculating net itc for claiming refund under rule 89 sub rule 4 for refund of accumulated credit on zero rate supply or rule 89 sub rule 5 for ids refund inverted duty structure refund shall not be included in net itc for calculation provided as a formula for claiming refund under rule 89 sub rule 4 and rule 89 sub rule 5 of cgst rules pehli clarity jab recipient jo deemed export mein hai वो जो आई अवेल करता है एंड क्लेमिंग रिफंड देयर ऑफ विद सब्जेक्ट टू सेक्शन 17 एंड सेक्शन 17 में हमें मालूम है स्पेसिफिक रिवर्सल हमें करना पड़ता है एंड अदर अदर ट्रांजेक्शन एज वेल तो डीम एक्सपोर्ट की जो ट्रांजेक्शन है लाइक सप्लाई टू ईओ सप्लाई अगेंस्ट ई सप्लाई अगेंस्ट एडवांस ऑथोराइजेशन सो डीम एक्सपोर्ट में आदर सप्लायर रिफंड ले सकता है या रिसिपियंट भी ले सकता है सब्जेक्ट टू सेटिस्फाइंग द कंडीशन तो इन्हें कहा जब रिसिपियंट अंडर डीम एक्सपोर्ट आई टी सी का रिफंड लेता है देन दैट आई टी सी विल नॉट बी सब्जेक्ट टू सेक्शन सेवनटीन चैप्टर फाइव ऑफ सी जी एस टी एक्ट और उन्हें कहा कि जब रिफंड का हम कैलकुलेशन करते हैं रिसिपियंट के लिए and the deem export then that net itc shall not include this component of itc for rule 89 sub rule 4 jahan pe zero rate supply ka refund milta hai rule 89 sub rule 5 jahan pe ids inverted duty structure ka refund milta hai pehla part second section 17 sub section 5 clause b and there are three sub clauses roman 1 roman 2 and roman 3 and putting a condition that this credit is not available like under roman 1 your outdoor catering food and beverages health services credit is not available there the proviso mentioning that if it is used as an exception either as a part of composite supply or mixed supply credit would be available but this is in a different context section 17 sub section 5 clause b roman 1 and roman 2 talks about club membership roman 3 talks about your travel allowances on vacation given to the employee and there the one proviso after 17 sub section 5 clause b roman 3 and that proviso say that itc on uh, goods or services would be available if it is obligatory on employer to provide to the employee under any law for the time being in force
डिस्प्यूट ये था ये जो प्रोविजो रोमन थ्री के बाद आ रहा है सेवनटीन सब सेक्शन फाइव क्लॉज बी रोमन थ्री के बाद आ रहा है इज इट एप्लीकेबल ओनली फॉर द रोमन थ्री और इट इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर ऑल थ्री सब क्लॉज रोमन वन रोमन टू एंड रोमन थ्री दिस वॉज द डिस्प्यूट एक एडवांस रूलिंग कॉन्टेरी इस सर्कुलर ने क्लैरिफाई किया कि ये जो प्रोविजो आ रहा है जो रोमन थ्री के बाद है एंड विच इज टॉकिंग अबाउट इट इज ऑब्लीगेटरी ऑन एम्प्लॉयर टू प्रोवाइड टू द एम्प्लॉय अंडर एनी लॉ फॉर द टाइम बिंग इन फोर्स इट नीड टू बी रेट फॉर ऑल थ्री सब क्लॉज रोमन वन रोमन टू एंड रोमन थ्री विच इज कमिंग अंडर क्लॉज बी अंडर सेक्शन सेवनटीन सब सेक्शन फाइव ऑफ सी जी एस टी एक्ट यानी अगर फूड एंड बेवरेज मुझे देना है मुझे हेल्थ सर्विस देनी है विच इज गिवेन अंडर सेक्शन सेवनटीन सब सेक्शन फाइव क्लॉज बी रोमन वन अगर मुझे ट्रेवल अलाउंस देना है विच इज ऑब्लीगेटरी ऑन मी जो रोमन थ्री में आ रहा है रोमन टू में आ रहा है जब क्लब मेंबरशिप बैठने की बात कर रहे हैं हम अगर ये ऑब्लीगेटरी है तो एम्प्लॉयर को इसकी क्रेडिट मिलेगी इट इज नॉट बार्ट मिलेगी and this proviso which is coming after roman 3 and the clause b of section 17 subsection 5 need to be 17 subsection 5 need to be read for whole clause b first part yani clarity second part or in a clarify kiya when uh, the restriction on availing credit for leasing hiring and renting of motor vehicle vessel and aircraft as given under section 17 subsection 5 clause b roman 1 restriction hai credit nahi milegi on leasing renting and hiring of motor vehicle vessel and aircraft so is it applicable for any other goods any other item which is being leased renting and hiring so clarified restriction only pertaining to motor vehicle vessel and aircraft other than that leasing of any item renting of any item hiring of any item credit would be available that is being clarified next part jo sabse acha inne clarify kiya and that is important one any perquisite given by employer to the employee in lieu of contractual agreement of employment contract then that perquisite is not chargeable to gst because any service by employee to the employer in lieu of employment contract it's out of gst so any consideration salary paid towards that it's out of gst neither is supply of goods nor supply of services entry 1 schedule 3 so any perquisite which is part and parcel of salary package in lieu of contractual agreement for the provision of services by employee to the employer no gst liable the laudable clarification last clarification which has been given in this circular h we got e credit ledger and we got e cash ledger what are the taxes and duties interest fees let fees we can pay through e credit ledger clarity given e credit ledger can be used only for payment of self assessment tax or any tax which is being arisen because of any proceedings under the cgst act or rules made there under so ecl electronic credit ledger must be used only for the tax payment it cannot be used neither for payment of any interest late fees penalty even erroneous refund payment which you have taken in cash you can't use your ecl ledger electronic credit ledger even rcm liability compulsorily need to be paid through e cash ledger 
so whenever you have to pay any interest let fees penalty or rcm liability or any erroneous refund taken in cash and then you are repaying back through e cash ledger only ecl going to be huge electronic credit ledger going to be huge only for the payment of self assessment tax or tax arising because of any proceedings under the cgst act and rules made there under so these are the four important clarification given in this particular circular thanks for watching stay tuned thank you very much